Welcome to www.knowwhatforyou.com. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Is this the case when measuring multi-RF sources? This is our setup. We have two identical decked base stations as our RF sources. The two are placed on the table one meter away from each other. Exactly in the middle between them, the RF meter is placed. It is the Cornet 85 with an external vertical antenna. Let's start. The background levels are less than 0.001 mW per square meter. Let's switch on the power for the left deck phone. After a few seconds, the levels that are measured between the phones, when only the left phone is on, are about 60 to 69 milliwatt per square meter. Let's switch off the power for the left decked phone and switch on the power for the right decked phone. After a few seconds, the levels that are measured between the phones, when only the right phone is on, are about 60 to 69 milliwatt per square meter. Let's switch on also the power for the left decked phone. After a few seconds, the level that are measured between the phones, when both phones are on, are also about 60 to 69 milliwatt per square meter. Turning both phones off, and the levels are back to the background level. It seems that when measuring multi-RF sources, sometimes 1 plus 1 equals 1. What happens when there are more than two sources? In real life, when measuring RF radiation, we measure multi-RF sources in the city, at home, and in a wireless classroom. Can we be getting a lower reading? Could this be the case for official RF safety service? In some countries, the official protocol orders to shut off all other sources and measure only one source at a time. But in real life, this is mostly impossible. For more info, please visit our website, our YouTube channel, our English blog, our Hebrew blog. Please follow us on Facebook and Twitter.